you know, conditions were, were, were poor, but in fairness to Colleg and Park here, the pitch was in, in, in great condition considering all the rain that was after four. And so, uh, delighted, delighted just to qualify now for the last four and, you know, see what will happen now next weekend. And it's Clare who's ahead of you now in the league semi-final next weekend. Venue and all that yet to be decided, but it's another extra game, which is probably very important considering the, the, the buy in the, in the Munster Championship first round. So good to get as many games as possible, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah absolutely. To get as many uh, good competitive games, Clare are absolutely hopping in the league at the moment. Uh, and they obviously have their eye on the first round of the Championship as well. So that'll be a good encounter to give us all a really good feel again for where we're at in our, in our uh, pr uh, preparation. For the game itself, it was kind of a slow start, to start affair at times in the first half, but um, Jake, I suppose, has continued that good form of, of goal scoring and things like that and allowed you to pull away, but it's probably a, a slow burner of a game, kind of. Yeah, very start-stop situation all day. Um, again, conditions didn't help. I suppose that wet ball, now it just felt our handling, even though the conditions were poor, I was very disappointed with our handling early on. A lot, of ball, a lot of ball not sticking to hand and you know ball that we thought we'd have primary possession of pot seemed to pop out and, and, and develop into a, a rock situation a lot so that was a little bit disappointing but it's a little bit flat again but you know we travelled up early this morning and not making excuses but you know it was, a, it was been a long day um, from half uh, seven eight o'clock this morning. The win and getting out unscathed would have been the, the, the goal. You got the win, but Owen Connolly went off with some sort of a kind of a look at arm, shoulder. He was talking to yourself when he was walking off. What seems to be the kind of issue with him there? Um, I think it's, a, it's, it's around his elbow is the problem. His elbow got stuck in the ground as he was running through. So, you know, could be, I don't know, could be ligament. I don't think there's anything broken, but you don't know what, what's really the damage as yet. But I did say initially, I'd say this, you know, soreness, ligament damage maybe around that, that area. But again, we'll, we'll get in behind that uh, tomorrow and, and Monday and, and see how, how he is. Any other players could make back for next week? Obviously, Cahill is sort of doing a bit on his own. Or did he have a setback in the last few weeks? Yeah, just Cahill is just finding it very hard to get himself right, and um, we we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. But you know, thankfully we have plenty of options at the moment, so you know, we we'll just have to wait and see. And Marco, and Marco is making progress as well. Uh, still, still, um, still got him maybe two, two and a half, three weeks into his his uh, his rehab. But we'd be hopeful come the end of this league and definitely have him back before championship. The way the game played out there, did, did you know that you only needed a, a win beforehand like Galway and Limerick had ended in a draw? You didn't have to go chasing the score or did it yeah. have played into the maybe not bring in the, the probably a, a four or five level game out there? Yeah, I don't know it's, it's again we came up to win the match, that was the yeah. primary objective. Um, we, did, we didn't know, the players didn't know, I, I just knew before throwing that was a draw in. Yeah in uh, Pierce Stadium, so look, it's just as well, I think we needed to, to get up near a 30 fight mark, it's just as well that had finished in a draw or, or we'd be out of the league, so, you know, but look, another bank of work in, um, happy to a certain extent lots to work on and, you know, next weekend that will really be a big test as to where we're at. Just on Seamus Kennedy, of course, the, the news was confirmed yesterday of his ACL injury, it was the, the news we all kind of feared, but he's going to be a huge loss to, to the panel. Yeah, yes. So, so disappointed for for Seamus. Like you know, such a such a versatile player and a, a massive player for us since I've started in, in, in this in this position at Tipperary. He's been a, a real key man for me. And um, you know, I suppose when there's fires, Seamus Kendi is the man you look to to put him out, no matter where they are on the field. And uh, you know, he's a top top individual in the way he prepares, um, the way he thinks about the game. And but I do know the, the resilience that's in Seamus Kendi, he will be back and we give him every support we can from my side, get him, get him behind whatever needs to happen and you know, six months time is, it seems far away now for him at the moment but six, seven months time he'll be back and he's gone on the Holland field again and, and, and ready to go. Cheers. Thanks, Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah.